If you got, if you ain't adding value, when it's time to start letting go, you're gonna be the first one to get cut. They cutting you first. You better pray that y'all stay in abundance. But if the abundance start getting questioned, if all you're doing is taking, you're the first one to go. Bruh, if you could do, all oh, hell, bruh. But you're not gonna add the same value I'm gonna add. Does that make sense? But if I'm not adding value, it seems like it's a cult. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So do me a favor, get off that me, 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 me. Driven by your wants, the now, immediate gratification, that base childhood boy stuff. Listen to me, the stuff you was dealing with when you was 18, 19, 20, like that sexual stuff, you grown now, you 40 years old, get some control now. You're a grown man, you ain't no kid no more. You can't be tossed and driven, you got kids now. You got kids, bruh. You still sleeping around, you got kids. You still not getting up and going to work? You got kids now. You got people looking up to you. If you wanted to play when you were single, cool. But now you done brought somebody into this world. And as a pastor, I hate when people all of a sudden now, they want to get a divorce. Y'all got kids now. You should have got a divorce before y'all had kids. Why you going to bring somebody into this complicated mess? They don't deserve this. They didn't ask for this. You a grown man now. Don't hit sit here and tell me that the baby mama drama, the mama be tripping. I don't care if she tripping or not. That's your son. Go make it work. That's your daughter. Go make it work. Do whatever you got to do with home girl. Say whatever you got to say. Give her whatever she got to get. But don't let no other man raise your dog on kids. My biological father lost the right to call me by my last name that I am. I have somebody else's name because he didn't step up. So when I write my books, it don't have my name. And people who are part of my family, they might not even know that I was their kid. Why? Because somebody didn't step up. I don't care what my wife going through. I don't care what she's expecting. They're my kids. I'm going to raise my kids. And I'm not going to raise them like she wants me to raise them. I'm going to raise them to be a man. And I'm going to raise my daughter to know how to deal with men. You ain't no boy no more. This ain't no base. This ain't no, I want to go party. You've given up that right when you had kids. Hey, party's over with out of time. Not time to be party no more. Now it's time to create a legacy now. You had your fun. Now get your work. Now be killer. It's over. When I was a child, when I was 18 years old, I act like that. When I was 21, I act like that. I'm 49 now. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I behaved like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut her off. So what? She gonna get at it too. Cut her off. So what? what? Bump your boss. Cut your boss off. Your wife needs you. Bump your boss. My son wanted to work for a sports agent. He was all geek at, I'm gonna work for them, I'm gonna get the chain. I said, the chain? The chain? You don't wear nobody else's chain. You don't wear nobody else's name. They eating off of that. Your family ain't gonna eat off that. You won't get a check. We building money for generations to come. You don't work for nobody else. I didn't put you in school to go give your best talent to some other man. I put you to work for this legacy. You work for your family. You don't got no options. You don't work nowhere else. You don't work for nobody else. You work for your mama. You work for your sister. You work for your aunts. You work for your grandma. You work for your family. You work for your kid. You ain't making no other man rich. Your boss don't run you. Your boss don't care about your wife and your kids. You care about your wife and kids. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no... You don't need their approval. You talented enough, God made you. You got everything you need. My wife graduated, got her degree. Passed the NCLEC the first time, went and got a job and she took the WIC check back. I was like, what are you doing? Wait for him to call us. This free money. She said, this ain't our money no more. We on our feet now. This somebody else's money. You a grown man on employment WIC. You are living off of somebody else's check when you shouldn't be living off their check, but you're so afraid to fly on your own. Stop being a boy and step into manhood. It's higher up here, but the rewards are better. While they taking breaks, you keep taking action. 
because you understand that to go to another level, it requires you to give every ounce of your being, every ounce of your soul. You must be committed to giving everything that you got. See, the next level awaits, but it's reserved for those who put in the time. It's reserved for those who put in the effort. It's reserved for those who put in the sweat equity. See, it's the rhythm and the melody that gets you in your groove. And once you find your groove, that's what gives you the strength to push through and power through any obstacle that life might throw your way. See, they play the game, but you live the game. You are the game. You become one with the game. See, they're thinking about the present, but you're thinking about the Hall of Fame. See, the great Dr. Eric Thomas says, you may come from privilege. You may have more than I have, but you will not outwork me. And that has to be your mindset right now. Never outwork. If they do 10, you do 15. If they do 20, you do 25. See, the great Bill Parcell said, that's why you lift all those weights. In the same token, that's why you take all those classes. That's why you're doing all that studying. That's why you keep exercising on a daily basis, because you have a goal and sometimes the competition is not them sometimes the competition is you and that's an internal daily battle to get up and do more and so sometimes you ain't gonna feel like getting up and that's when I tell you to get up anyway get up and do more because you will never be out work and it has to be your mindset if you're trying to lose weight it has to be your mindset if you're trying to get straight A's that has to be your mindset if you're trying to go to the league that has to be your mindset if you're trying to get that six pack because it ain't gonna happen overnight it ain't gonna happen by yourself so you gotta keep going even when you wanna quit because you will never, ever, ever be outworked. And that's the mindset of a champion. That's the mindset of a winner. That's the mindset of somebody going to the next level. And that is not the mindset of those that are losing. But it is the reason why you're choosing to keep working and keep working and keep grinding and give more than you've ever given before. See what the future has in store for you is the gift of greatness. But that requires you to give everything you got. And that requires you to go just a little bit harder than the next man. Just a little bit harder than the next woman. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Keep climbing. Keep growing. And never, ever, ever be outworked.